Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter five, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Number two says, Simon is making wreaths to sell. He has 60 bows, 36 silk roses, and 48 silk carnations. He wants to put the same number of items on each wreath. All the items on the wreath will be the same height. How many items can Simon put on each wreath? So we need to find the factors for each one of those, okay? So for 60, we're gonna have one and 60, two, and 30, 3, and 20, 4, and 15, 5, and 12, 6, and 10, and actually that's it for us, okay? We just got a little gap in the middle there, okay? Now, for 36, we have 1 and 36. Two and eighteen, three and twelve and four and nine and six in the middle. Six times six. Okay. Now we're gonna have one more. We need to do forty-eight. So one and forty-eight, two and twenty-four. Three I'm gonna double check myself here. Yep, three and sixteen. That one always throws me. Four and twelve. No five, but six times eight. Okay? Okay. So we need to circle then all the ones that are the same. Okay, ones, twos, threes, four, six, not eight in every one of them, not nine in every one of them, not ten in every one of them, but twelve, not fifteen in every one of them, not sixteen in every one of them, not eighteen in every one of them, not twenty. Not 30, not 24, 36, 48, 60. Okay, so your answer then will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Okay. This is your answer. This is the work to your answer. I just wrote it low because I had to white out earlier. Okay, so. All right, so that's your answer. That's your work that you need to show, okay? Justin has 20 pencils, five or 25 erasers, and 40 paper clips. He organizes them into group with the same number of items in each group. All the items in the group will be the same type. How many items can he put in each group? So we're gonna do 20 first. So one and 20, two and 10, no three, four, and five. That's our first one. Okay. All right. 25. One and 25. No two. That's not an even number. No three. No four. And five times five. That's it. Okay. Now 40. One and 40. Two and 20. No three, four, and 10, and five, and eight. All right, guys, now we need to find the ones in common again, okay? So one, obviously, not two. That one doesn't have a two. Not four. They do all have a five. Not eight. They don't all have a 10. They don't all have a 20. They don't all have 25. So it's just going to be one or five. It says how many items, so let's just make sure we label again with this one too, items, okay? All right, 
A food bank has 50 cans of vegetables, 30 loaves of bread, and 100 bottles of water. The volunteers will put the same items in each box. Each box will have the same number of food items, and all the items in the box will be the same type. How many items needed? So we need to do 30, 50, and 100. And I'm going to do those on a separate piece of paper now so that we can fit them in without making a mess. Okay? So let's go. So I'm going to do the smallest one first. Okay. So we know that we have one in 30. I should probably do that with a little more room. Okay. 30, 50, and 100. Okay. So we know that one times each of those. There we go. Okay. Now, 30 also has 2 times 15, and 5, oh, and 3 times 10, sorry, and 5 times 6, okay? All right, so there's 30. 50 has 1 times 50, 2 times 25, no 3, no 4, but 5 times 10, and that's it. No, six, seven, eight, or nine. So that's it. Okay. All right. One hundred. That's one times one hundred. Two times fifty. No three. Four times twenty-five. Five times twenty. No six. No seven. No eight. No nine. Ten times ten. Okay. All right. So we need to find all the numbers they have in common, okay? The ones, the twos, not all have threes, not all have fours, but the fives, okay? Not all have six, they do all have ten, not all have fifteen, not all have twenty, oh, not all have twenty-five, and the rest of those are mute. Okay. All right. So your answer will be one, two, five, four, ten items. Okay. All right. Okay. Next one, number five. You guys can do, you're going to do the same thing, 15, 18, and 12. You guys can totally do that, okay? Then we're going to go into the back, and you guys are going to do the lesson check, okay? You guys have many examples now. You are just fine, and you can use a multiplication chart, not a calculator, but a chart to go down and do that, okay? These are on Google, guys. They're not complicated to get, okay? All right. Dan put $11 of his allowance in his savings account every week. How much money will he have after 15 weeks? Well, 15 times 11. Okay, so 1 times that 15 is 15. Tic tac toe. 1 times 15 is still 15. And add them up. Five, six, one, and don't forget to put your dollar in. One dollar sixty-five cents. Okay. James is reading a book that has one thousand four hundred pages. He will read the same number of pages each day. If he reads the book for seven days, how many pages will he read each day? Well, seven goes into fourteen twice, and then I'm going to tack on those two zeros. We've done that before. Okay. And don't forget the label with pages, how many pages, okay? All right. Emma volunteered at an animal shelter for a total of 119 hours over six weeks. Estimate the number of hours she volunteered each week. Well, 119 is about 120, right? Okay. And six goes into 12 twice. Tack that zero on about, don't forget to write about 20 hours. 
Okay. All right. Okay. Write an expression that can be used to multiply six times 198 mentally. Well, we could do six. 198 is almost 200, so we could do six times 200 minus six times the two that we rounded up to get to 200. Done. Okay. All right. That's it, guys. Thanks for hanging out. It's 5.3. Come on back for 5.4. See you soon.